What is an LED? LED stands for light emitting diode. It's a diode that emits light. It lights up. But what's a diode? A diode is a component in which electric current can only flow in one direction. For LEDs, this means when connected in a circuit, the LED will work when plugged in in one direction, but not if it is plugged in in the other direction. If you ever look at a circuit diagram, an LED is represented by a diode symbol, a triangle with a line at the point, with two arrows indicating that it emits light. The lines out the sides represent the leads, positive and negative. The triangle points in the direction that electric current will flow. Here is a 10 millimeter LED. LEDs have two legs or leads. The short one is called the cathode and is the negative lead. The longer one is the anode and is the positive lead. When connecting an LED to power, like a battery, the positive anode lead should connect to the positive side of the battery, while the negative cathode connects to the negative side of the battery. Again, if the LED is connected backwards, it will not turn on. There are a lot of different types of LEDs. These are through-hole LEDs. They are designed so that the legs can be inserted into a circuit board and then soldered. They can also be stuck into a breadboard, a product used for prototyping and trying out circuits. Other LEDs are designed with metal pads instead of legs. These pads are soldered directly to a circuit board, allowing them to be much smaller. Some LEDs have a colored package, while other LEDs emit different colors of light, but the package is clear or white appearing. Some LEDs emit light outside the visible light spectrum. In wavelengths above visible light, there is ultraviolet or UV light. This type of light can cause sunburns, but UV LEDs, sometimes called black lights, can be used to make white and neon colors glow in dim light. Below the visible light spectrum is infrared, or IR light. IR LEDs are often used in remote controls. The concept of LEDs was discovered as early as 1907, but they were not commonly made until the 1960s when they began being used in remote controls, as indicator lights, and in seven segment displays. LEDs are often used to replace incandescent lights. This is a three volt incandescent bulb. However, as I supply power to it, you can see that the light begins to glow at a much lower voltage. LEDs vary in the voltage they require, which is often around two or three volts, but which varies depending on the color they emit. If I connect this 10 millimeter red LED, the LED begins to light around 1.7 volts and gets to full brightness around 2.3 volts. This green LED begins lighting at 2.1 volts and reaches full brightness around 2.5 volts. While this white LED begins lighting around 2.5 volts, and reaches full brightness around three volts. AA and AAA batteries are 1.5 volts each. Using two gives you three volts. While many button cell batteries are only 1.5 volts each, these CR2032 button cells that are commonly used in projects are three volts each. This is why battery packs with two AA or AAA batteries or a single CR2032 battery are often used to power LEDs. As batteries are used, their voltage slowly drains. So as a battery dies, it provides less and less power. A used three volt battery may be able to power a red LED that needs around two volts, while it may not power a white LED that requires closer to three volts. While LEDs need a minimum voltage to light up, if they are supplied too much power, the LED can burn up and will no longer work. It'll be dead. So when using LEDs in your projects, remember to hook them up in the right direction and use the correct voltage, which is around two or three volts, and you're good to go.